Hello! Now what is renewable and non-renewable energy? And what are the advantages and disadvantages of them? Actually, none of the current major energy sources we use are renewable. For example, both geothermal and solar energy is finite, which means that one day they will run out. However, they are available without any of our effort for an incredibly long time, and that's why we call them renewable. Fossil fuel, on the other hand, can in fact be replenished, as long as its initial substrates are present. This includes solar energy as the ultimate energy source, and plants in between. That's because fossil fuel originates from biological organisms. Dependent on solar energy conversion by photosynthesis, and shaped also by geological processes. Now the reason we call fossil fuels non-renewable is that they are formed very, very slowly. Much more slowly than we can use them. And that's why we call them non-renewable. The advantage with fossil fuels is that some of it can be relatively easily extracted and it can be used in many different ways. The disadvantages though with fossil fuels are many. For example, by converting the existing fossil fuel resources much more quicker than it was formed, we create an imbalance in the environment. That is the rapid increase in the concentration of atmospheric carbon dioxide in turn causing something called the greenhouse gas effect, which is when we trap heat from the sunlight close to our planet and increase the total heat of the atmosphere on average. Now fossil fuels are also only available in some places on Earth, and our strong societal dependence on these has an impact on politics and war. Now advantages with renewable energy is that they can in theory be carbon neutral and we can also overcome some of the disadvantages of fossil fuels. If we choose wisely they can also pollute less in total and in theory we could produce renewable fuels in locations where currently there are no fossil fuels. Now disadvantages with renewable energy is that they can have both environmental and societal effects if they haven't been chosen wisely. For example, if we use corn to make ethanol for our car, we have less corn to eat and the price goes up. Plants is, after all, fuel for us humans. No matter how we twist and turn, renewable energy will be needed in the near future, for many reasons. We just need to find a smart way to make it.